Android guy here again with the brand new TouchWiz update for the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. This TouchWiz is a user interface that Samsung has put over Android 3.1 Honeycomb and it will be it's similar to what you might see on the phones but it is in my opinion is not as intrusive as you know as it still looks like honeycomb rather than looking like say samsung so let's just jump into the home screen i'm not gonna go through everything i'm only going to go through the things they changed so it shouldn't be ta this shouldn't take too long all right first thing you might see is the weather widget they have here that is the Samsung weather widget for their tablets resizable and you kind of have here now limits on how much you can resize the object it's not by it's not by just the you know amount of places it's specific object sizes here's all of the widgets they and things they have added so I'm just gonna go off the screen here is the clock they've added and that is just like comparable to the HTC sense clock buddy which would uh, add a contact you could add a bookmark and there are no bookmarks okay you could this new uh, active applications shows you your active applications and I can close them at will I'm just gonna leave them open right now AP mobile duo clocks for duo places and this is not accurate right now because where I'm in Houston right now and it's saying it's what five five o'clock in the five almost 45 in the morning when you know at the bottom here it says it's 1043 so I think the Samsung's will have to fix that fix that excuse me let's go with video and I have no videos world clock and you know what you'd expect world clock a map with countries in it Samsung App Store you've seen in my previous review I'll just go through it again quickly because they have done some changes to it um they've made it white a more of a white and a lighter blue rather than a black and darker blue and they've done this throughout the device uh, like you can uh, you, you'll be able to see it as we go on further that this no longer looks so dark as in not not like the screen brightness but it, it's more of just like uh, the colors they're using and all that it looks uh it looks a lot nicer in my opinion ebook which is uh come say like iBooks on the iPad and it's even got the same interface memos this is nice and there's also other ways you can oh here it is it saves it there pen memo well, again you add it from up here and then you draw it Horrible handwriting, I know. What is this? Oh, I selected the eraser. And it saves it like that. Social Hub. I'm not logged into any social media, but this would kind of accumulate all your feeds and uh, your things like Facebook, Twitter, you know, th a lot of things like that that you, that you might have. Uh, built-in file manager my files so there's no you mean no need to have anything like uh, like Astro file manager where was I photo editor now this is nice I can take it and edit it whichever way I want to Re crop I believe no it's resize I'm sorry Definitely. Music player, then now this is new. Um, it's kind of as a replacement to the music Google Music app. And uh, but I still use that because I have Google the you new know, cloud services.
contacts and uh, I do not have contacts but you can also see how it, it's still similar I mean with the menu on the side and you can view it here but I mean it's just a light better I mean, it's different colors things like that music hub I mean you've seen this on the other reviews I've done it's still there and again and it hasn't changed much maybe just uh, the different bar at the top And this widget did not fit on the screen. Social hub, which you saw back there. All right, and okay, and you know, as you're looking at this review, you're probably wondering, when are you gonna go into the status bar at the bottom? Well, uh, that is right now. Uh, what is this new button they've added here? What is it? Um, well, I don't know if I should tell you because I don't want to spoil it for you, but it is a screenshot button and that is a very nice feature to have now there and then I'm glad they they put that in um back home and recent applications same same as ever this is also they've changed it looks like what you would see on a Samsung this is like what you would see on a Samsung phone but it just adds it's just you know instead of having to push the clock it's there but it, it does it's the same thing pretty much let's just take a quick look at um, some of the new settings they have in here uh, let me focus that okay so wireless and networks it's all the same except for Kai's via Wi-Fi via Wi-Fi and you can uh, check your device check your you know device through Wi-Fi and you can get stuff on your tablet so I have to test that out I have not had a chance to test that out I have a new thing is sound it's uh, you can change your vibration intensity and I don't like it all intense I like it like maybe a little bit less uh, power saving mode and power saving mode is useful but then it just gives you this pop-up notification and continually, continually like keeps it there. Let's see if we can get that closer. It continually keeps it there and it says pop-up uh, notification, power saving mode. And I don't like having extra notifications in my, you know, my status bar. So I'm just gonna turn that off. Nothing new in location and security applications. Um, they have motion settings now so you can uh, and I'll demonstrate this later but you can tilt to move home screens uh, things across home screens and panning and zooming and nothing new in there let me just uh, do a quick review of setting um, this again Android 3.1 and it's uh, still all there so that's pretty much how it goes in the settings something I didn't show you on the home screen was these let me fix that in. there we go was the pagination pa paginate I can never pronounce that word anyways it's the dots that move kind of like the iPhone but not like the iPhone because the, it shows you the num page number. You can jump to num the page. Jump to that page. App Drawer has the same thing on... Whoops. That was bad. App Drawer has the same thing on the bottom. And that is the App Drawer as a whole. And another thing they've changed is they've changed this from shop to market, which is uh, it's okay. I mean, it's nice. And now, what you've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen, the movies tab. It has finally come to these devices, and it was now previously only available online. I can also show you here. Let me show you this. The tilt. The if you saw that 
tilt settings in the settings you can tilt to move home screens and you can see I'm not moving my thumb I am moving that and leave it there again on certain widgets you can no longer it's no longer by spots it is more it is more by they have some certain amount it can take up or it can't take up you can no longer have a full page widget unless it's the gallery widget in which case yes you can have a full page widget um screenshots end up automatically in the gallery which has not changed much they just added a new icon to it so show you this one and uh if you saw and the the other setting in the motion settings was for this you can zoom move move um zoom in and out using that it also works in browser I can show you that. Let's just go google.com. Zoom in, zoom out. Zoom in, zoom out. Which is interesting if you're bored. Yeah. Another thing um, Samsung has been advertising a lot on the status bar, which I sadly forgot to show you, is these mini apps. You can push the little air up arrow here. Zoom into that. Little up arrow there. And push that. Or you can swipe up. And there come all your little mini apps. Um, you know, I've heard some people criticize the word mini apps that uh, they've called it, but you know, I mean, other thing I can think of it is call it applet. And uh, Java already has that um, taken up. Uh, I mean, me and a lot of other people think that. Of course, it's Java geeks. Let's check out Pen Memo. I was saying there was another way to access Pen Memo, and there is Pen Memo. Horrible handwriting again. Yes, I. I know. I gotta work on that. World clock. Um, of course, I've lit. I've all this, the things that were in the world clock. Task manager is here, which is uh, like the widget, and you can move any of these things around, which would be speci um, specifically nice for the calculator. So you're looking at say uh, the total temperature for the week. Total, total high temperature for the week, so you go 96 plus 100 plus another plus another 97 and then uh, another 100, you know. And it shows you all your things here plus another 100, which is, I think, nice instead of having to guess did I put the 97 in, did I put the 100 in, then plus another 97. So there's a 490 total high temperature for the entire week. Uh, it's a hot week. But again, it's always hot in Houston. Music. Music player. I don't have any music on the device. Just because I, I don't have the need for it. Calendar. Now, this is uh, interesting to you. This is nice for you people who are very calendar oriented. I am personally not. I just put that in there so I remember to update it. Of course, I didn't need to, didn't take much remembering to do. It's like, oh, July, oh, August 5th, update. And that's all of them. That's all of them. So, that is, this is the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 TouchWiz update. I like it, personally, because, in my opinion, it adds more functionality to Android. And, uh, I mean, I'll go with however much functionality I can get. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Goodbye.